banana show. We are going to make ba cream cheese banana stuffed French toast. So I'm just using sandwich bread. Play no sandwich bread. And then I took some cream cheese, let it sit at room temperature. And we're going to spread it out on both sides of the bread. This is going to be your, your glue. Now, if you don't want to do cream cheese, how about peanut? Peanut butter and bananas go good get together. Or Nutella. Then we're going to take a little bit of cinnamon. Sprinkle on one of the bottom pieces. Then we're going to take a banana. And we're going to slice. Put it all over our bread. you got to line them up make them look. Set them in the cream cheese so it's their glue. You're going to take your other piece you have cream cheese on and just sandwich it together. Okay, I did a bunch of these. All right, ahead. So, let's get, make our um, cream cheese, uh, not cream cheese, our egg mixture to go dip. Our, our French toast wet mixture, I should say. I got eggs, milk, vanilla, a little bit of cinnamon. Even though I put cinnamon in the thingy, I still want a little bit of cinnamon. I think cinnamon is standard in um, French toast. Now, sometimes, usually, if I'm not doing, I'm doing regular French toast, I'll put a couple tablespoons of sugar, one or two tablespoons. So, let's get this all mixed. This is our eggy wet mixture. Cinnamon. Okay, this is our stuff we're going to dip our bread in, like when you make French toast for our sandwich bread now. Our little stuffed bread. Then I'm going to get my skillet over here, get it start going on with some butter. Get it start melting in the pan. Turn it on to maybe a low. Let that start warming up. Okay, now you're going to take your egg mixture. <clears throat> you're going to take one of your sandwiches you put together. You're going to duck. Be careful. Now see how the glue really holds when you turn? Not the glue, but... The cream cheese is the glue. Really hope it's get it soaked up in there real good. Let me get my butter. It's a meal. Okay. Now we're going to take that. Drain. Into the skillet. You can use any kind of bread. I'm just using sandwich bread. It's older sandwich bread I want to use up so it's kind of drier. That's what you do for stale bread. If you want to cut your uh, French bread or um, a loaf of French bread or use, uh, um, let's see here, Italian, 
um, brioche, whatever you want to do. So we do that. And now let me wash my hands. And I've got it all achy. We're going to get this a spatula. <coughs> I'm going to turn you this way. <coughs> turn it up now. And we're going to uh, brown on both sides. You know how you do French toast. I already have a video up on French toast. Make my mess. Let me clean some of this up. Want that up. going to brown on both sides. It's not time. But, yeah. Now, I only use one block of cream cheese, so you're going to have some left over, okay? And I use about three bananas. Depends on how thick or thin you slice your bananas and how much bananas you want in your French toast stuffed. <clears throat> Smells good in here. French toast. Almost getting ready to flip. You want to make sure you cook both sides of the bread real good. Get that egg mixture cooked up in them. Now, if you want to put, like I said, a tablespoon or two of sugar in your French toast batter like I normally do. Look how good that's looking. Ready. <clears throat> so while it's doing that, I'm going to get me a plate. to make homemade syrup and I thought oh why didn't I show this now um because we're all out of the pancake syrup or real uh, maple syrup we're out of honey we're out of caro syrup so any kind of syrup like I usually like pour caro syrup on my stuff so what you do is you take a saucepan I'll put the recipe down below with the french toast and tell you how to do it you know all the way out, but I'll give her your rundown right here. <coughs> you take, uh, I use brown sugar because I wanted brown sugar base. You can use regular sugar. You can use it as a honey base. Um, some kind of sweetener. With your water, you bring it to a bowl. And when it starts to boil, you keep it stirring until your sugar is all dissolved. And then turn it down a little bit to like a low boil and let it boil for four to five minutes. And then after you take that, do that, you take it off the heat, add you a little bit of butter and some vanilla extract. Let it cool a little bit, you know, thicken as it cools. And then there you go. And it has to be stored in the refrigerator. It can last a month. You just warm it up as you need it. Pour your some out and warm it up. Give them another flip on the other side. Let them go a few more seconds. And we're going to use a plate out. I 
I do the same thing with my cream cheese strawberry French toast. I just don't. Um, it's going to be a strawberry base. But now we're doing banana. Okay. This one's done. And this one's done. Pushing off the heat. So I always cut mine diagonal, you know, all fancy like. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. And then I stack it like that. And then I usually get some like cinnamon sugar, a little sprinkle. Um, this happened to be Pampered Chef. My friend does Pampered Chef and he gave me some of this to try. And it's called their French Toast Seasoning. Um, you can get other French toast seasoning at the grocery store. Just sprinkle a little bit of that on top. And then I'm going to come with my syrup. Baby, get me, baby, get me some ready whip out of there. And then we're going to put my syrup. Now remember, it thickens as it cools. And then I'm just going to be all fancy, and we're going to do some ready whip on top. Shake your camera real good. Or homemade whipped cream. I do that sometimes too. There you have it. My cream cheese banana stuffed French toast. Don't that look good? We're going to have that with some sausage patties. See you next episode of Simpson Bye everybody.